it out. the law enforcement personnel, according to uh, Farmington Hills Chief uh, Chuck Needles here, um, they have about a hundred law enforcement personnel out here uh, as part of the search effort. Uh, we just saw the uh, cadaver dogs that were searching a wooded area uh, right off the path here uh, in Hines Park. Uh, they have the Salvation Army uh, certainly providing law enforcement with refreshments on this hot day. Uh, right now it's not too bad. Uh, but again, they're looking for the remains of... Uh, okay, we're going to wait here. Uh, they're looking for the remains of 28-year-old uh, Danielle Stislicki. She's been uh, missing for several months now. They have a person or interest suspect. Uh, Chief really didn't want to characterize uh, uh, Mr. Galloway, who is in custody for allegedly attempting to rape a jogger here along the path in uh, Hines Park. And uh, no specific tip or anything that led to this massive surge, uh, the largest surge that they've conducted. Um, since uh, the start of this case. Um, I was thinking maybe that uh, Galloway provided some information or they received some sort of tip. Um, but uh, the chief basically said that uh, it's just part of the process since the suspect um, was here in the park. According to profilers, he's comfortable with the park. And if something did happen to uh, Danielle, um, possibly uh, she would, her remains would be here. Let's see uh, all the different vehicles here. They uh, have to search this heavily wooded area. Um, so they do have bug spray and that to uh, get them through this tedious task of uh, searching for remains. They're also asking the public uh, to be on the lookout for any remains or any of uh, Stislicki's clothing, shoes, jewelry, that sort of thing. And the chief uh, said that they are pretty optimistic that they will at some point solve this case. Thank you. 